Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placement of Pisces. This is your reading for February 1st through the 15th, 2023. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. We are building to the full moon in Leo, which will be on February 5th. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. The link below to my website has all the information available for you. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials, and and you'll also see there is a 15% discount off your very first session or as, <clears throat> excuse me, or as a first time client with me. Okay. Pisces, let's get you an overall energy. Okay. I love it, Pisces. You've got abundance coming through as your overall energy. And this to me, I immediately heard like about the retrograde. We have no retrogrades. No planets are retrograde for the next three months, I think until April. Um, so abundance is really coming in for you, Pisces. I'm seeing you expanding, opening up, receiving ideas, insight, knowing which, you know, that divinely inspired action to take. And you are building your abundance. And I'm not just seeing this as like, you know, monitor, monetary uh, abundance. I'm seeing this as spiritual abundance, happiness abundance, clarity abundance. You know, all the things that you're wanting to line up and create in your life are starting to really manifest and come through, which is amazing. Let's see what else we've got for you, Pisces. <clears throat> second row is your specific person any of those of you dealing with a specific person what do we need to know about their energy please third row any clarifying messages Okay, Pisces first up we've got seven of wands the chariot and the Wheel of Fortune. This chariot has been coming out in so many readings and I love it because there is just a forward momentum energy that we're all starting to feel now. Um, but with the Seven of Wands, be mindful, Pisces, where you may be resisting a little bit of this abundance that wants to come in or this like forward momentum. The Seven of Wands is very much an inner resistance. We're pushing away our good. Uh, we're blocking ourselves from receiving abundance for whatever reason, right? This can be fear. This can be lack of self-awareness. This can be um, thinking that we don't really want something that the universe is trying to bring through to us, which really it would be a great thing for us. So you kind of have to tune in with yourself, um, Pisces, and see where is this resistance coming from? where what's the root cause okay um i do see you working through it though um so you're not going to get too caught up on that because we do have the chariot and the wheel of fortune coming after that i mean the chariot just moves things forward it gets you on your highest and best path there's also a confidence uh around this energy so a confidence in moving forward a confidence of taking a step of you know making a decision and with that wheel of fortune also, Pisces, you've got fate, divine timing, all in your favor. You know, fortune starting to come in. And to me, this is the clock of the universe. So things are happening according to divine timing. Uh, you know, the timing of the universe, which a lot of times is different than the timing that we want. Um, so I am seeing, you know, this coming through for you as well. It also is wrapping up any karmic cycles or, you know, parts of your journey that you just need to wrap up and set aside and let go um, as you're moving forward in this new energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries. I've also got Leo and Sagittarius energy out here for you. All right, your specific person, Pisces, those of you dealing with a specific person. I've got Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. So your specific person with this Knight of Cups here, it's interesting. I'm seeing Pisces, you coming forward with your energy of love um, and them not wanting to reciprocate it. Okay. Six of Swords is like leaving things behind, rough waters. Maybe you guys have had too many challenges and the desire to continue just isn't there. Or with the Ten of Swords, this is speaking to feeling 
underappreciated, taken advantage of, you know, undervalued, etc. So your specific person, Pisces, may be feeling like um, not appreciated by you or maybe you haven't been all in and now you're wanting to come all in and it's a little too late. The other message that I'm hearing for some of you is this Knight of Cups is your specific person coming in with their love offer for you. And I'm seeing the fear, the resistance um, melting away, Pisces. And I'm seeing um, actually a positive thing for this partnership because what's been in the way is the fear. A lot of fear around being taken advantage of, being underappreciated, uh, repeating old patterns that are, you know, rough waters, so to say, like this card represents. So it's kind of like I'm seeing two messages for two different groups of you. Um, and I'll repeat them. So one group is uh, your specific person is coming through with the love offer and it's shattering through the fears around you know this relationship deepening so whatever these two cards um, have been in the way of things really solidifying the other group of you is Pisces you are bringing through your love offer and it's a little bit too late there's already been the damage done um, with your specific person not feeling you know valued by you or appreciated by you maybe there's been some dishonesty in the space so something something going on here that causes them to reject your offer okay so take what resonates leave what doesn't this is a, a general reading could be dealing with an air sign libra gemini aquarius i've also got water energy uh, another pisces or a scorpio or a cancer final messages pisces we've got two of pentacles page of wands and the judgment card Something is being revisited here, okay, with the judgment card. So this could be a revisiting of a decision, of an argument, of uh, some situation that kind of required forgiveness or understanding in order for you or the other person to move forward. This can be in roman a romantic connection or this can be in work, family, friendship, etc., but with the two of pentacles you've been kind of weighing out your options for a little while pisces in regards to this specific situation okay so it's like you're weighing out your options and then boom you get that clarity you get that clarity coming in with the page of wands of where you need to focus where your inspiration is and what you need and that kind of opens the door here for forgiveness for an apology uh, for taking care of, you know, things that have needed your attention and needed some awareness that you just weren't able to give until this point, okay? So if you're, if this is speaking to a romantic connection, then there will be forgiveness and there will be a reconciliation here. Uh, but you needed to get clear first, Pisces. I'm really hearing that's an important part of this piece in order to know where your inspiration is and where that passion and chemistry um, really is. Okay, uh, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, I did mention Aries earlier, and then strong air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, let's see, what else? I think those are like the main ones that I'm seeing for you. All right, let's get you an overall message, or excuse me, another message from this deck. Okay, we're going to take that one, which popped up, which is Enchantment. So the Enchantment card to me is all about getting out of the logical mind and getting more into like your imagination and what it is that you want to create, manifest, what are your dreams, what are your desires, and, you know, pairing that with the Abundance card. I kind of feel Pisces like you don't have any limits right now. Like, what is it that you want to create and you know manifest i think that's you know a really beautiful energy to be in and again you've got that wheel of fortune so bringing everything together at the perfect timing all right let's get you a spirit animal message beautiful pisces you've got the black bear guardian Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Pisces, you are so intuitive when you are aware of it and in alignment and you allow that to lead you. So 
this is your spirit animal message and protection the black bear through february 15th I hope this resonates with you. That's all that's coming through. Um, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Pisces. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. They do make a difference for the channel, and I love reading your comments. I will respond to every single one, so you can connect with me below. Uh, for those of you who missed the intro, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy, healing, and therapy. It does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. So the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials page, and definitely take advantage. There is a 15% discount off your very first session with me as a first time client. So you will see that linked below as well. I think that's it Pisces. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to February and I'll see you back here for the second half of February readings. Take care.